Hi, I'm Vitor Manfrinato, graduate student at MIT, working with Professor Carl Berggren. Today, let's talk about fabrication at the nanoscale, including my recent work on pushing electron militography to new limits towards the atomic scale. Why is this important? Well, improving our computer is one reason. The computer industry struggles every year to incorporate a higher number of devices over the same chip area. The smallest function device in a computer is the transistor. The more transistors we fit on a chip leads to more powerful and cheaper computers. We've seen this pattern for decades. One common high resolution technique for nanofabrication is electron beam lithography. How does electron beam lithography work? One tight electron beam about 10 nanometers wide is shined onto the sample coat with a sensitive polymer called resist. The electron beam is very energetic and as it hits the material, it breaks specific chemical bonds of the resist. Then, this resist is dipped in a special chemical solution that removes only portions of the resist that were exposed to the electron beam, leaving an exposed layer beneath. This process could also be done in reverse with different resists, which end up creating new chemical bonds when exposed to electrons. So the exposed area is the portion that remains after this development process. Electron lithography is a common technique in the computer industry for prototyping and is extensively used in research. However, Electron lithography may be facing some fundamental resolution limits. The first problem is that electron beams are not typically smaller than 1 nanometer. The second problem is that electrons scatter inside the resist, making the electron beam larger. Plus, the electrons ionize the material, generating more electrons that further expose the resist. These are named as secondary electrons. Third, if you fabricate structures too small or smaller than 5 nanometers, it will be a challenge to see what you fabricated. To overcome all these challenges, I went to Brookhaven National Laboratory to use a special microscope. A scanning transmission electron microscope with electron optics corrections. The electron beam energy was 200 kilo electron volts, which is two to four times higher than in conventional electron beam lithography tools. The high energy electrons should lead to less electron scattering, leading to higher resolution lithography. This microscope has an electron beam approximately 0.1 nanometer diameter, which is 40 times smaller than what I typically use. In the bottom left picture, we see an image of a single uranium atom imaged by this microscope. In my experiment, I use the resist, which is the best known material for making small features, hydrogen silicate quioxane. Previous experiments with this resist resulted in features as small as 4 nanometers. After fabricating my small structures at Brookhaven Lab, I went back to MIT and used the high-resolution transmission electron microscope to see what I have done. Previously, the smallest possible structures were 4 nanometers, but we achieved 2 nanometer structures with this new technique, as you can see. To help you imagine just how small this is, these structures are only 10 atoms wide, reaching in a few microseconds per nanometer. We hope to achieve even more control of this technique to get closer to the atomic resolution. Then, we could hopefully control matter at its fundamental binding blocks, atom by atom. And that will let us continue to make more breakthroughs with faster and more powerful computers.